trial for everything else yes. but the Lord. But the Lord. Yes. There is no room in the area of truth of God. Allah, God in Buddha, God in anything else. Either Jesus is the Messiah and the one who can save us or not. Yes. There's no room for two. My God. There's no room. The Bible even says in Matthew, you can't serve two masters. You despise one and love the other. That's right. You can't serve God. So many people are slave to money. They work, 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 work. Hey, you need to work. I work. Yes. Amen. You got a working pastor. Thank God. Yes. Amen. Amen. But don't work to the point that your whole life is tied to working and working and working and working. And all you do is working. Amen. But if you invest in some of that time that you put into a second and third job, I truly believe if you invest enough time in it, God will remove you from the second job. Because God don't want you to work like that. Oh, yeah. Got a whole number of but one job will give you enough. One career will give you enough. One business will give you enough. Yeah. Well, you ain't got to work yourself into the ground. I've seen people work all their life, and at the end of their day, they still ain't got nothing. Yeah. No yeah. savings, no investment account, no nothing to sustain them in their senior year. And I've seen people work less, and they just blessed and out of favor by the Lord. Why? Because they're working, but they allow God to order their steps in the process of life. Yes. John 10 and 9, we come home on this one. I am the door. If anyone enters me, he will be saved. Yes. And he will go in and out and find pasture. Saved from sin and from hell. And then verse number 10, 10 and through 11 says this, and the 14, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. Yes. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, yes. the people of God. Yes. I am a good shepherd, and I know my own, and my own know me. How do we know each other and how Christ knows us? Because this relationship is intimacy. Yes. It's this time we spend, not in church. Uh, no, when you're by yourself. Yes. Right now. When you're in your car. Yes, when you're at work. When you got free time. But you're burning all your free time doing other stuff. Then you say, I ain't have time, and I'm going to do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There's only so many tomorrows that you can keep putting things off that you need uh, to do today. Yeah. Hey, man, somebody. You, some, of, some of us in the new year, we don't need a new year resolution. We just need to refocus our mind. Lord, help me go into the new year with a new mindset. Help me to love you different. Help me to honor you different. Help me to grow in my relationship. But you can't grow until you do some of the things different. Yeah. Yeah. But one of the things we have to do is to deny ourselves. That's hard for a lot of us. Yes. The Bible says, take up thy cross and follow thee. Yes. So the main, one of the main things is, is self-denial on this walk. Yes. We cannot continuously work our plan and work God's plan at the same time. Amen. If you want your plan to come to fruition, line up with God. If you want things to come to pass, line up with God. But God had a plan for Jesus. Yes. To be born in a manger and wrapped in swaddling clothes. Matter of fact, the, the, the condition was so bad that they ain't even had no room for them to even stay in the inn. They had to be in a stable, in a place with horses and different things. But God didn't come in a little pretty fancy uh, inn. He didn't come in a, a, a pretty fancy way. And sometimes we look for everything, just the, the plan to be just so smooth. Yeah. Jesus transitioned to here wasn't smooth. Not to that respect that people look at it, amen, but he had a divine plan. Yes. And the more we plug into the plans and the kingdom work of God, then we can see the manifestation infiltrating and pouring out on our lives, and therefore we experience things on a different level. Amen. If you want to grow in God, you got to do some things different. Yes, sir. You can't keep doing it the same traditional way. You can't keep thinking the same identical way. If you want to go beyond where you're at in life, it requires work. Amen. It requires something. It requires toil. Amen. Most people want to be rich, but nobody don't want to do no sacrificing. Uh -huh. Amen. They got real quiet now. That's right. A lot of people want success. But Jesus still had to go to the cross. Yes, sir. The miracles, him showing himself to be the son of God, mm -hmm. the teachings, and everything he did in, in, in the time he was born all the way up to the cross. Yeah. And he still went to the cross. And when he got on the cross, he said, it is finished. Oh. That means this portion of the journey is finished. Oh, yes, it is. But he said, I'm coming back. Yes. 
Some people don't even believe you coming back. No, sir. No, sir. My mom and them said, my, my grandma and them said, well, I'm tell you something, he coming back. Yes, and sir. And I ain't your grandmama, I ain't your mama, I ain't your first cousin. But he's coming back. Yes, sir. He's coming back, saints of God. The more we read this Bible, the more we can see the signs of the times. Yes, sir. The more we can see things happening. And this is what gravitates us closer and closer to God. Because I'm going to tell you something. The Bible says in a lot of days, many shall depart from the faith. Giving oh, heed. Giving heed to seducers. Yes, Lord. Many. And he didn't say who was going to be in the minute. I'm so glad God kept out who was going to be in the minute. Because some of us will miss it for some of our relatives yes, and yes. some of our friends. Some of us, some people, hey, amen, they are willing to go to hell for some of them they can for. Mm -hmm. Not me. Yeah, you need them. Mm -hmm. They're willing. Why? Because they love them so much. Yes. Jesus said, you can, how you going to love them more than me? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So in order for us to continue to grow and develop into what God wants to be, we have to continue to do the things and walk in the ways that Jesus Christ has already sent for us to do. He sent his son to be born. To live, to set the example. And one of the most important things you all want to leave your children, grandchildren, or whoever that you leave them, whatever behind. It's not what you, you leave them behind, it's more most importantly, but it's what you leave in them. Yes. See, I can leave you 50, I can leave you a thousand, and God bless me. 50,000, you'll spend it. A hundred thousand over time, you'll probably spend it. But it's what I leave in you. Yes. Ain't that what Jesus said? He said, I go away, but I don't leave you comfortably. Yes. But when I go, the comfort will come and he reveal all things unto you. So this is something that we have to continue to pass down. Amen. As Brother Javaris, as he get older and get married and have children, this is what he will leave his kids. This is what my children will leave their kids. And this is something we have to continue to leave. Why? Because somebody got to let their light so shine. Yes. Because so many people nowadays, they're deviating. They're moving away from the things of God. They're embracing the things of the world and living your best life now. I, well, I guess this is their best life. Because they don't, they, don't, they don't have an expected life. Because they don't believe. They like the rich young group, the rich man. He ain't believe until he opened up his eyes and he was in, in the place of hate. And he ain't even ask for mercy. He just said, let me go back and tell him. Oh my God. You better go back and read the story. Yes, sir. He didn't even ask to come out of hell. He just wanted to. Let me go back and tell them about this book. Yes, you don't want to come here. You don't want to come here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let yes. Have a plan. yes. Lord, we just say thank you for your grace, your mercy, all the things you've done. Lord, we just say thank you that this time of the year we can embrace the true reason for the season. And that is your son, your sin, Emmanuel. God is with us. Your son to live and to teach and to guide and to set the examples for us to know that a Savior was born. And Paul said it most best, it's no longer that I live, but it's to Christ that lives in me. Lord, we just say thank you for Christ living in us. Thank you, oh God, for helping us to heal more to your spirit and the ways in the things of you, O oh God. And Lord, I just pray, O oh God, that you may continue to keep us, sustain us, empower us, that we may go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, rest rule in the by in us and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. And let the people of God say amen. 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 God bless you. Anybody, amen, before we dismiss, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I pray. That you have a blessed Christmas. And like my sister said earlier, amen, it's, it's not about the gift. But it's about the, the gift that came. And that was Jesus Christ. Yes. I remember sometimes I used to swell up, amen, when I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. But then I got an understanding of the time. Amen. And if we live every day to demonstrate what some of us demonstrate on one day, Try to be that every day. No, I'm not talking about in the in the retrospect of buying gifts. Yes. But just showing that love, that, that gratitude every day. Yes. Hey, Amen. I, I I'll never forget it was it was the sister Callahan when they got to a point place in their life. She said, every day for me is like Christmas. Yes, sir. That's what I live for. Yes. Every day. Not in the retrospect of just giving, but just demonstrating love and compassion. And if you can give somebody, give them, bless them. Don't wait.
wait till their birthday or Christmas. Bless all. Be a blessing. Let your life so shine. Amen.